Yo, what up, Simon? It's Friday, May 27th, and we are about to do the year two version of the Iconoclast. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Let's watch the briefing video. Good morning, 47. Your target is Joanne Bayswater, a rogue assassin banished by, how shall I put it, one of our competing agencies. For many years, she was one of their top operatives. However, her self-confidence led to arrogance, putting civilians' lives at risk. Her handler, believing she was becoming a hazard, brought it up with the board. Miss Bayswater did not take well to this betrayal and went out of her way to seek revenge on the one she felt had stabbed her in the back. Now she has broken free and set up her own business as a final insult to our client, destroying the natural order. They have made multiple attempts to get rid of her, but she is always one step ahead. And this is why they have turned to us. They might be too proud to admit it, but they need the best. One does not defy the gods without consequences. Good luck, 47. All right, and here's the uh, intel if you want to read it. Just pause the video. All right, cool. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to do this in uh, what I think is a risk-free way to do it. Uh, we are going to end up poisoning her. Now, there are three things that are going to make this a lot easier for you. Number one is if you have some kind of lethal poison um, already unlocked, then you can put it in the hidden stash in the dance floor because it's like really easy to access, right? Any kind of lethal poison will do. Um, it has to be the kind that you can add to food. So I wouldn't go with the syringe, but um, you know, lethal pills, poison vial, th these are all functionally the same. Um, but if you don't have that unlocked, uh, that's fine. Um, it's just a lot easier if you do. Number two is um, if you have the Requiem suit, then it's going to be a lot easier to escape. And number three is if you have the, uh, you know, those permanent um, un unlockable doors. There is a door that kind of leads to this back area. Um, you know, if you have that, it's going to be a lot easier. Um, of course, if you, the thing is with with the poison, if you bring the poison, then you don't need to go to that back area that I'm talking about. But anyway, I'm going to assume that you don't have any of those three unlocked, then I'm just going to go through the whole thing. Okay, so I would start off in the parking lot, uh, Requiem Suit, you know, if you have it. Um, all you really need to bring for this would be coins. Okay, so you don't really need anything else. Um, I'm going to just unequip everything else. So all you're going to need is coins, even if you don't have that, um, you could literally just find it on the level. So. Good evening, 47. Welcome to Argentina. Joanne Bayswater is currently attending a party at Vinedo Yates to get clients for her new agency. Bad for our client and bad for us. Unfortunately, we were unable to obtain an invitation for you, so you will need to be creative. And remember, Ms. Bayswater is a professional. She knows that mingling in the crowd keeps us safe. Good luck, 47. From the firm. I came as quickly as I could. Okay, so uh, if you brought your own poison, um, or if you have the permanent uh, door unlocked that gets kind of like to the back of the villa, then take that invitation and then you can just enter the party the regular way. It'd be a lot easier. Uh, otherwise, we're going to have to go the long way around. So basically just follow where I'm going. Yeah. Um, if you just swing around the outside, don't have to worry about any of these guards, you'll be okay. Um, but yeah, if you have the poison, then <clears throat> just pick it up and basically fast forward to the part where you get to the, the level where they're like serving food and stuff. Um, and if you don't, but you have the door unlocked, then just enter the party and go to the cave where you can exit with the Requiem suit. Okay, so then you come this way, just climb into those, the wood pallet, climb up here, pick up the hammer, 
You just need to be careful of that patrolling guard. Just jump down here. Over this thing. Around this way. Over this wall. And this guard kind of like turns around a bit, I'll show you. So when he's looking to the right, then you can run over here into these plants. But at times he will like kind of look back to the left. Like right now. Um, I, I'm not sure if he can still see you, but I just wouldn't chance it. So just wait until he's like kind of looking to the right and then you run over this way. So then just cross over into this patch. And then there's like basically three guards you need to worry about. There's him. And then those two that are like patrolling. So de depending on the timing, um, you want to cross over to that area, obviously, when no one's looking, right? So right now, I'm just going to wait for this guy to turn around. He's going to walk, like, back and forth this way, I think. There he goes. Yeah, but where you want to go is basically to these stairs. And then when you get here, just go around the side. On these ledges. Weird weird? Like how? Oh my and then God. don't accidentally attack these guys safe. by pressing Especially E. When it's a basement obviously. Basement safe. Are we Come down. Okay, so you come down here. Then there's a patrolling guard who walks back and forth between that the cave and that upper guard right there. So wait for him to come back up. You can pick up a crowbar if you want. When he comes up, you can uh, kind of like sneak down these stairs and into this cave. And this is the cave I was talking about earlier. Um, the easier way to get here is if you had just gone around this way from the permanently unlockable door. And this cave has a secret exit that you can only use later on if you're wearing the Requiem suit. So that's why I suggest that you bring it. Um, but for now, we're just going to hide here. And we're going to wait for the patrolling guard to come back down. He'll then position himself um, on that railing looking outward. And then we'll take him out so he could take his clothes. Um, once he's there, it's it's kind of like inconsistent. It, I, if you try to choke him out, sometimes you get caught. Most of the time you won't. So I'm, this time I'm gonna just try like throwing something at his head. Yeah, most of the time you'll be okay, but sometimes like a random guard will kind of see you from above and it's, I don't know, it's kind of unpredictable. So I will drag him in here, and no one should come down here as long as you don't create any kind of panic. But yeah, I'm going to take his clothes and uh, just pick up the stuff. Now, this guy is an enforcer, so just make sure he doesn't see you, obviously. Once you have this outfit, we're going to go into the villa, and we can kind of go there by like climbing up this stuff. careful of this guy who kind of walks back and forth in this area uh, depending on where he is go like either one way or the other but basically we want to get to that this pole right here so as you can see there's also this guy on the left but you can just easily climb around things until you get over here yeah it's just those those two enforcers this one and this one um, but yeah, no one cares if you're climbing. So you climb up. Go all the way up. Now you're in the attic. What you gotta do is kick the ladder. And then now you're in the bathroom. And then on the table is a lethal poison. Right? So you could have avoided all of this if you just brought your own poison. Okay, so now that we're here, just go down into the main area. 
Uh, shouldn't be any enforcers here, really. I guess there's that one, so don't don't like walk by when the door's open. But um, anyway, basically, we want to just go out to the front, and we're gonna join the uh, the dinner area. There's like an enforcer over there, so just go down these stairs instead. Okay, so this is the dinner area. If you brought your own poison, you could have just come straight here with the poison. It was the most uh, you'll be in your regular suit. Okay, so this is probably like the quickest place where I can get a waiter outfit. So, um, come to think of it, I don't think these guys ever turn around, but it's kind of absurd. For me. Okay, yeah, so I guess she kind of turns around. Just going to watch their positioning a little bit. Once she heads back all the way over there, then I'll choke him out. You don't want to do it when she's too close so she'll hear it. Then I'll take a throwable and I'll just throw it at her. And unless you've somehow taken forever to come this way, I don't think anyone will come through this area. Uh, drop the gun, obviously. The only time I'm aware that anyone ever comes through this area is actually in the story mode. Uh, so, given that this is an elusive target, it might not even happen. But yeah, you, you can be reasonably certain that you'll be okay here. So, obviously put these guys' body in the closet, and then uh, what we're going to do now is equip the coin. So basically what we're going to do is... We're going to try to poison um, this plate of food on that table right there because the target eats from it. The problem is uh, this this guy is an enforcer for waiters. So what you got to do is you got to just kind of like crouch by this table. And if you look at the mini map, you can see that there are actually no um, this waiter is like the closest NPC to the stairs. So if we chuck a coin by the stairs, He's gonna basically turn around and look, and as soon as he turns around, we're gonna quickly run and poison the food. Okay, so now poison the food with a lethal poison. And then just run away before he, before he turns back. And then now basically you just gotta wait. So yeah, all the, the food is poisoned there. Uh, it doesn't matter what happens with the coin. At this point, it's it's just a waiting game. Um, I, I might just put a cut in this video because it might take a while. Uh, so I, I'm like fairly certain no one else eats from the food. But uh, you know, if it happens, then obviously I'll, I'll let you know and I'll, I'll kind of recut this video. But. Um, if you're super paranoid and you don't want to restart, then what you could do is you could wait until the target is kind of like in this area. She's going to go through like a cycle of dialogue. And once she's in this area, then you could poison the food like I just did. And then you could be reasonably certain that no one else will eat from it um, until she does. But yeah, for now, I wanted to just uh, poison it ASAP. Um, yeah, for now I'm just gonna like walk around and try to find her, I guess. What if I change my mind? If that's the case, now is your chance. But I still that is Joanne it. Bayswater, rogue what assassin. She is one of the best, it. and it is a mystery that she has never been on our radar until me? now. Of course. You need to be careful with Thanks. this 147. Are you 
in position? Good. Stay put. Still waiting for confirmation from our client. I'll get back to you ASAP. Mr. Corvo. Good evening, Joanne. Okay, so at this point, excuse me. Have you found the Malbec yet? She's gonna Let's go through a whole cycle of dialogue. I'm so embarrassed. We're still looking. I know we have a bottle. I hear it, Could I tempt you with something else? No, I'll come back. And I hope you won't disappoint. He's got the will, the connections. When I first played this blind, I tried to poison her through this, this like wine opportunity, but I found that she was really inconsistent about drinking it. You should keep an eye on that glass. You never know who might try to poison it. <laughs> if only to put me out of my misery. That sounds awful. Oh, I'm Joanne Bayswater, by the way. I don't mean to pry, but what's wrong? It's private, of course. I understand. But still, it must be serious if you don't mind being poisoned. It's pretty serious, but as I said, I understand completely. In my line of work, we also have to keep things private, so... I might be able to help you. I don't see how. I'll be blunt. Mrs. Kavanaugh. Sarah Kavanaugh. Mrs. Kavanaugh. Or Sarah. You don't mind, do you? And what if I told you that my line of work could take care of your problem? Permanently. No blood on your hands. Guaranteed. Would you be interested? Are you telling me that you... Kill. It's private, Sarah. Don't worry about that. But I think we are on the same page. Look, here's my card. If you are interested, return it to me, or have someone else return it, and I will give you a location where we can discuss further. In private. Thank you. But I don't think I'm interested. Just think about it, Sarah. I'll hopefully talk to you later. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Okay, here she goes. She's gonna taste the food. Excuse me. You know all the staff, don't you? Yes, indeed, madam, I do. So, you would easily recognize anyone suspicious of tampering with the food? No one tampers with the food here. I keep a strict lookout. So, yes, I would know. Good to know. Oh, I'm just a bit of a germaphobe. Oh, the irony. Target eliminated. The money is being wired to your account, 47. Now head towards an exit. Okay, so uh, I have that that gateway permanently unlocked. Um, what I should have done is, if, if you don't, uh, you, you should have <laughs> unlocked it earlier after getting this outfit. Maybe I should have shown that to you, but um, anyway, here, here it is. Here's the gate, right? So the easiest thing to do now is to just go through this way and walk up to that cave and because I want to get my suit back. Um, but you know, if you don't have that unlocked and, and you still haven't done it yet, then you could just pick up that uh, guard outfit and just go back the way you came. Retrace your steps, come back over here. Then uh, now that we're here, I'm gonna basically pick up my suit again. And like I said, you can exit in the Requiem suit over here, but if you don't have the Requiem suit, then the next exit we're gonna go to is back over here, kind of like the way we came um, in in those like fields. So we're just gonna shimmy around this way. Don't 
attack these guys, obviously. Would be a really sad way to lose now. Okay, so we're coming back this way. And... Uh, We want to go to that boat right there. So I, in this case, based on his position, I'm just going to wait for him to turn around, go back to the right, cross the field. Okay, so across this path all you got to do is go around to the back side of this shed climb through the window the keys you want are in this corner Here's the boat's key the boat key and then um, if you still have a coin or really anything that you can throw with on the right side of this the right corner here I would chuck it kind of like roughly that way because you want these two guards to kind of like turn to the right as soon as you throw it wait till they turn and then run over here and quickly exit that's it people are doing 23 seconds so uh, congrats to the master misters or whatever all right cool uh, thanks for watching see y'all next time